Hi guys, so in this video I'm just going to answer a few questions from one of my subscribers. So he wanted to know how I was able to land the job. So I'm going to answer all the questions that he mentioned. So, so the first question is how I structured my CV or my resume based on the skills and the projects that, are, that I put on that on the, on the resume or the CV. So I'm just going to put my I'm, go, I'm just going to show my CV on the screen so you can be able to see how I structured my CV. But this is the recent this is my recent CV or the resume. So I'm just going to show you how I structured the CV. But the projects that I play, that I put on this CV are not the projects that I had before. So before I had, like I explained in the previous video, I just proved the, the projects that I worked on as I was doing freelancing. So I just went to local companies in my area and I just told them that I create websites and I can create one for them. So that's, those are the projects that I put on that on the CV that I, that I applied with. But this one is, the, is my current CV that I have at the moment with the company that I'm working at at the moment. So those are the projects that I had on the CV, on, on my previous CV. So with regards to the skills, I just mentioned all the skills that I've learned, like everything that I've learned uh, as I was learning programming. So I mentioned HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, React Router, uh, Redux, uh, I learned SaaS as well. I also put WordPress in there so that just in case if the company that I'm applying to uses WordPress, so I just put it right on there so that I cannot, because this, 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 uh, like LinkedIn and Indeed, they don't allow you to have multiple uh, CVs there, so they just allow you to put only one CV. So I just put every skill that I have on that specific CV so that every company that I apply to, if they require me to, to have a WordPress, they can find it there. So I also put WordPress there. There are also other things that I've learned. Uh, I can't remember them right now, but there, were, there are a lot of things that I've learned. Oh, also, I put uh, Git, and, Git and GitHub because you also have to learn that, as I mentioned in the previous video. If they can see that you, you have some knowledge on Git, and GitHub, then trust me, you they'll, they'll, they'll consider you. They'll definitely consider you. So I also mentioned that I have communication skills. I also mentioned that I have problems, problem solving skills, and conflict management skills, and some algorithms and data structures. Because I told you that uh, I've learned a lot of things because it was a bit difficult for me to get a job without learning data structures and algorithms because they were testing me they were going to test me on my program solving skills once they consider me to go to the next level in the, in the application process right so yeah those are the skills that i've put on the on the cv or the resume of my previous cv then the second question is how i was able to land the job right so one of the big things that helped me to land the job is having experience working with clients. So during the interview, they asked me about the projects that I put on the CV, and I told them those are actually freelance projects. So I told them that I was working with clients, and in this job, I was going to work with clients. So showing that I've already worked with clients, show that I have experience, uh, show that I'm going to be a good fit for this role. So what I would suggest is, just go and try. If you have some basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, go out there and try to look for companies in your area and tell them that you create websites and you can create a website for them for free. Then you're going to have some experience working with, with clients because you're going to communicate with that client uh, so they can tell you what they need, everything on the website. And another thing that helped me to learn this job was Obviously, you're going to be tested on your program solving skills. So as I told you, I, I learned the, the algorithms and data structures. So in the next process, in the application process, they, they gave me a test to test how uh, on my ability to problem solve. So uh, the, 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 the challenges were based on React, JavaScript, algorithms, 
also Angular and Vue. I don't know why they're testing me on multiple frameworks because at the company I'm working with React only. They just asked me some questions based on Git and GitHub to see if I actually know those things, which was a great thing. Uh, the only thing that I was able to, to understand was that they were testing me on Git and GitHub. But as for React and Angular and Vue, three frameworks in one, but at the company I'm only working with React. It doesn't make sense to me, but anyway, I was able to solve those things because, because I already have some knowledge of React, Angular, and Vue. So another question is what the recruiters are actually looking for on your CV. So the first thing they're looking for is the skills. Like they want to know because they're not going to show everything on your project. So, so on the skills section, you just tell them that you know React. You know, if you learn React, yeah, you just tell them you know React. You know JavaScript, CSS, HTML. If you if you if you did some SaaS on the side, also write it there. Like write everything that you know. So actually, on my on my previous CV, other skills that I just thought of now were Figma, Adobe XD, and Inkscape. I don't know why I put Inkscape there because they're not going to consider that. Most people don't know about that uh, software. But if you can have Figma and, and Adobe XD or one of them, that would be uh, a good advantage for you because they are, it shows that you have some knowledge about web design, right? So those are the skills that you need to have on your on your resume on, and also get and get help, like I told you, put on there. Like everything that you've learned during your whole programming uh, learning uh, journey, just put everything there. It might help you. One of them might help you and be a good advantage for you so that, so that you can stand out from all the other candidates. Also, another thing that you need to have on your CV to help you land the, land the job or get the interview is you need to have a portfolio website. Like this one, like this is a must right here. So once you have CSS and HTML, you can basically create a basic portfolio website you don't need to have uh, JavaScript and do crazy things on your portfolio. You just need to show the projects that you've worked on. Because on the CV, I don't like having a two-page CV because the, the, the most recruiters won't consider the other page. They'll just look on the first page and that's it. So I like to have a single-page CV and show everything that I have there. I try to feed everything. I do, everything, I, I do my best to be able to feed everything there. So if you can have a portfolio website, if they need to see more projects that you've worked on, they'll be able to navigate to your website and see all the other projects that you've worked on. And that will be able to help you a lot so you can stand out from all the other candidates. And like I told you, another thing that helped me a lot is because the projects that I've, that I've placed on the, on the CV were my freelance projects, right? So it showed some experience. Like I told them on the, on the, below the, the name of the project, I told them this was a freelance project, so it showed that I have some experience working with clients, right? So once you've worked on on projects for companies around your area, just write below that, that that's a freelance project so that they can be able to know exactly what their project was based on. And it shows that you have experience working with clients and it's going to help you a lot. And another thing that actually helped me to, to land the job, obviously, was that I was able to answer the questions that they that they had for me during the interview. So if you can before if you can get an interview, make sure you prepare like make sure you prepare hard as possible so you can be able to answer all the questions that they have for you on the interview. So yeah guys, that's all that helped me to be able to land the job. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. So see you guys in the next video.